Yeah, so here we are. It's Friday again, and uh, don't you know, no car in here. wonder where it went. Well, it's over in the other shop, and I just put a coat of paint on it. Coat number one, the base coat. Now it's supper time here anyhow, and uh, so time to clean up. And then there's some, oh, a few flaws in my painting that I'll have to remedy tomorrow before I paint anymore. But I'll clean this stuff up, and uh, if you stick around, you'll see what I did for the week. Had a couple of days of work, so I didn't have a full week again, but that's okay. Hope you enjoy it, and see you next week. Yeah, there it's recording. So you see, I have this little piece of metal, it's flat. So you stick it in the vise. Say you want it on a line, you know, the, depending on where you want it. I mark those with a line, so here's a, like a line across there. Then you just stick it in the vise right at the line. Tighten it down good. I'll see if you can see that. Yeah, more or less. And then cold chisel and a hammer. And you just hit it right at the base where the base where the where the uh, vice hits the metal stretches it there. Give it a bit of a pound down like that. Big like that. And voila! You got the little body line sort of thing. Can you see that? Let me check. See how that body line came out there? Kind of cool, eh? Now you can do that and make it, if you hit it more, you can make a bigger, bigger body line, but that's so simple and easy and you know if a guy didn't show you you'd never know anyway there you are lesson number 18 yeah so here's where I left off yesterday and uh, that's all done now and I'm gonna just take a bit of body putty and cover over the blemishes and then this got a bit of a dip in it right here I think I talked about that another time you can sort of see it here I'll I'll put a ruler on there and show you. Yeah, where am I? Right there. So if you put a ruler on that, you can see that gap underneath the ruler. So I'll have to just put a bit more putty in that to fill that up and then it'll look good against the tail light because the tail light bracket goes along here. Get out towards the front here. Yeah, you can see that. Anyway, that'll be fixable. Yeah, so I planned on getting so much done today, but I got some done anyhow. Sanded off that bit of putty along there. And now I have to do the final sanding, so that looks pretty good now. The uh, All the ugly welds are gone. Everywhere you look, a little bit to work there, but not too bad because it's all hidden. I'm not too worried about it. This side here, I got these holes in, fixed the uh, marks that I made, <laughs> sanded off those things on the door there. Now the next thing is the, uh, the back bumper, I'm still repairing on that. So the back, the back bumper was, in a previous life, fairly extensively repaired because it had rusted out, I don't know, it, this is aluminum I guess. And then it rusted out over there. So somebody had put this bracketing in here. And then when I pulled it apart, of course, uh, this bolt here broke. These ones here, I had to get the tap and die out and sort of re-thread re those things. So that they could uh, take a nut on them. Now, it's a fairly solid system. And, and I looked online for a bumper. And I think this bumper is fine. Anyhow, so I have to weld this little nut bolt onto there. And that will make it so that it all comes together right. Yeah, there we go. That's all welded up again. This one here I didn't wreck. This one here I just had to re-thread this bolt here. And everything is all right. And then it all sort of fits together nice. This 
the mounting thing just sits on there like that. And then the, I imagine this used to come up against the bumper and that's likely what caused all that rust in there. Hmm. Anyway, well that's what all, caused all the rust on this. Something did. Yeah, so there, that's the bit that hangs underneath the car. The exhaust pipes come through here. And it had that sort of rubberized coating on it. So I went and sanded it down. And there was a couple of little rust spots here that I wanted to get sanded off. And they seem to be gone now, so it'll likely come out all right. You can see the low spots. There's a low spot there and a low spot here, but I don't, I can't pound at it to fix it. And I don't want to put any putty on that. I suppose I could put a little bit of putty right there and that, see what that would make it look a bit better. But I think that's the only spot where there's a low spot anyhow. Yeah, I could put a bit of putty in there and see what happens. I'll do that. Yeah, there. What the hell? Put a bit of putty on there. That'll fill in those little bits of dips there. Otherwise, it's all right. I'll just uh, put a, some primer on it and give it a bit of a sand. And that should be okay. Now tomorrow, if I don't find any more holes in the car, I might get to sanding it and get it prepped for paint. Maybe this week sometime I'll paint it. That would be exciting. I have to set up a paint booth. I'm going to do that in the other shop on, the, on my big shop where there's lots of room. Because this thing here I'd get, I'd run out of room and everything in here would be painted. Don't want that. Anyway, there we go. Yeah, there you go. They're all painted up now. Back to the right color. They look like, look like they should look. Anyhow, I'll, I'll let them dry and then I'll put them away somewhere until they're ready to go back in the car. Yeah, they're, <clears throat> oh boy. I went over the whole car with a orbital sander. Now I'll have to go and give it another run with a little bit finer grit on a hand sander, but mostly it looks pretty good. Then you can pick out there's a little spot right there that needs to be some putty in it, and there's a couple of spots along here, one right here, and one right here somewhere, right there, that I put some putty on, and then that'll smooth that out. But you can see them now, anyhow. But mostly it looks like it's pretty good. The, uh, the body works nice and smooth. So I have to, I didn't get into places like this with the orbital sander because it's too small. And up along here it's a little bit too close to the uh, rubber there. But the orbital sander makes it pretty quick. Anyway, I'll carry on. Yeah, there it is. That thing there is smoothed off nice now. So I can paint that up. And then the car, I've got it all down to like 400 grit on the uh, sanding, which is pretty nice and smooth by me. But now i got to clean off the areas that have body putty on them and, and put some primer on them. Then I can take it out and wash it. But first, I have to do... A little bit of work around the back end of it here to just in those picky areas there so I can so it won't look bad later yeah there I put a coat of what do they put on there this stuff self etching primer Anyway, got two cans of it on there now. I just did over all the areas that I did body work on. Like along the door there, and on, along the running board. A little bit on the hood, just spots on the hood there. And this thing here, it turned out all right. It looks actually okay. It'll, it'll look good with a coat of paint on it. Oh, where am I going now? Now the other side of the car, all along. 
along the door there where I did a bunch of work on it, and along the body panel there. And it looks pretty good. I've got a couple of spots where there's a little bit scratchy, but I think I can solve that with a bit of sanding. And, uh, hmm, might be a happy guy about it all. So, now I'll give it all a sand down with about, you know, 400 again or 600 or whatever. And then uh, take it outside and wash it off. Haven't done, haven't finished back here yet. I decided I'd build up this a bit more. I'll take that down tomorrow. And then I'll prime this stuff back here. Maybe I'll go get the paint tomorrow. Gotta make the paint guy happy if I get and bought the paint that I promised to. Yeah, yeah, so I'll need a bit more room for painting than what I have in the in the little shop there. So I'll just set it up in here. Lots of room. I have to cover that. There's another car underneath there, an old Mercedes Benz. And there's Sam's motorcycle there, which is a Buell. And then my motorcycle, which is uh, a major Honda. Honda scooter. And so, but this should be more than enough room to paint the car without getting too much trouble. The um, I've got a thing that I'm going to set up underneath the door and make a fan so there's air that will come in through there and then it'll vent out underneath the door. I'll, I'll close the door and then lock it off and put a fan there. Anyway, that should work. Yeah, so I think I finally got this corner here pretty near right. I put the lens in there, and it, or the bracket in there for the wind, for the thing. And this corner here looks great. So tomorrow I'll prime them. Then when that priming primer dries, I'll take it all, take it out and wash it, wash the car off, then sand it, and then wash it. <laughs> And then it might be ready for painting it if I put some green tape on it, tape it off, <coughs> and do that in the other shop over there. Anyway, that's all for today. Yeah, so there's kind of the idea. I've built a little bit of a barrier along the doorway there and then put a fan in. I'll, I'll fill in that little bit above, above the fan right here. That should make it work. Hmm, how do you like that, eh? Nice day today, one of these days, maybe tomorrow or the next day I'll be painting. Yeah, it seems like an, I can always find another hole to fill. Just a little tiny hole is right there and I poked the hammer at it and don't you know, I made it a bit bigger. So, I fixed it. Yeah, there it is. I got the uh, primer coat on all this stuff in the back. It actually looks pretty good now. I won't touch it, but It'll take a little light sanding. There's some yuck there. I don't know what's happened there. But even I took the uh, door handle off and painted it, or cleaned it up and painted it. So, a couple of spots I'll use a little bit more sanding on. But, for the most part, looks pretty awful good. So now, I think that's all for today. Tomorrow, I'll take it out and wash it, dry it off, and then start taping it up. Then, then it'd be sanding, sanding, and then it'd be maybe a paint coat. We'll see what happens. Yeah, there it is outside again. Just washed it off, all the dust off of it. Now I'll take it in and sand it for, yeah, give it another sanding, and then start, then I'll start taping it. I'll tape on it. All this side, and then leave the pass, leave the driver door until later. But I think that it's pretty near ready for paint. All the stuff that I ordered, uh, including what did I order? Stuff. I ordered some, uh, like a new alternator for it, and I ordered a new pump for the whatever you call that thing. Hmm. New pump for the air conditioner, and. A new radiator they're all here and I was thinking about should I wait should I do it before I paint it or after I paint it so I'll do it after I paint it because I don't want the paint to sit around too long and get um, 
stuck or you know not mixed the guy mixed it up on the machine there the day before yesterday and I've been shaking the can up every day as I go along I want to make sure that everything's the paint works good so it looks pretty good all the body work is reasonable I think I can't see anything through that so I got to sand it down with like 400 or so and then after that's done then it's uh, clean it all off and paint her up yeah I like the green trim anyhow I got started on uh, taping it up it takes a lot of time and patience to get it taped up so what I'll do is I'll tape it up just get the edges done and then I'll paper it over with it don't have to be so precise then and I'll put these back on and I got the hood to close there was a a piece that I had to get put on inside there to make the hood close right but now it's closed down good and I can see the flaws in the paint anyway but we'll uh, carry on and I'll get out I'll get it taped up and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like Yeah, there we are. So I've got enough tape on there now. I can just put paper on it. And uh, but first I'll do the sanding, and then then I'll do the uh, paper, and then I'll take it in the other place and clean it off and and throw a coat of paint on it. Maybe tomorrow night I'll have a base coat on. We'll see. Yeah, there we are. I went around the car now, and there's a little nick there, a little nick there, a little nick there. I've done this before, but I always forget where they are. A little nick there. So I put these little green tabs of tape on it to show where the little nicks are. There's one right here. And then I'll go and I'll mix up some putty now and just go and fill up all these little nicks around the car. I think that that side there is pretty clear. One like there, one like there. So once I get them filled up, or, you know, looked after, then I'll sand it off. And I've got it mostly taped. I've just, I'll move it into the other shop before I make it into yesterday's news. Then we'll carry on. <coughs> there we go. I've been... What I've been doing today, doing some papering. It looks like I'm a little bit behind on the paper route here. But that thing there is all ready to go. Then I'm going to do the back end. Now I've, I've sanded the car all down to 320, 320 or 400 or something. I've sanded the car all down to 320 or 400. And then I went over the whole thing with the Windex. So you just Windex the whole car. That's from Bad Chad's idea there. Then I uh, did it uh, with primer coat anywhere where it blew through with a little bit of sanding. See, I missed the spot there, so I'll come back with it. And then I'll paper up the back end here. Then we'll move it over to the other shop and uh, get after it. Yeah, there we go. It's uh, taped up in the front, taped up in the back. Got to do the windows. I'm going to move it over to the other shop to do the windows. I went over the whole thing with a degreaser just to take off any handprints and stuff like that. And taped up everything back here because they don't need to be there now the degreaser stuff you got to be careful with that stuff because you don't want to go where you just primed it because that'll take the primer right off it so I just degreased the bits there that are still original paint and then tomorrow I'll take the tack cloth and run over the whole thing with the tack cloth and then I think we're safe to paint yeah yeah so there's my paint booth. That's the tractor you hear running out there. So it might might work out alright. I got a fan there. 
And I'm going to close off the bottom of the door with that stuff and then get a bunch of lights in there. So I'll show you when I get it set up. Yeah, there we go. I got lots of lots of lights. There's lights above, there's lights here, there's lights there. Still will be a couple of shadow spots, but not too bad. And I've got to and tape up all the windows and and tape up the door handles and the mirrors and the wheels. Then we'll uh, see about painting this sucker. Yeah, there we are. It's uh, yesterday's news, right? Yesterday's news everywhere. That's all taped up. Now I'll just have to go over it with a what they call a tack cloth which is sort of a sticky kind of cloth. And then that picks up all the dust. And I think I'm ready for painting it. it sort of feels all right. Like I don't... Besides the dust on it, I don't feel any anything but dust. <laughs> I'll blow it off with, a, with the air gun too. Anyway, there we go. See what happens. Yeah, so there's the, the big old air compressor. Now, when they say for painting, so, oh, I'll start here. This line here goes to the other shop. This line here comes into this shop here. Now, but they say for painting, now you should put an air dryer on it and a cleaning filter thing. So, I did that. Figured I better do it or else they say you'll get fish eyes in your, fish eyes? Fish eyes in your painting. So there, that's a air cleaner and a, this is a cleaner side and that's the, uh, that's the filter side and this takes out the moistures. So hopefully it works. Then I'm going to set up the camera to watch this stuff. And I'm going to see if I'm going to put a, put a coat of paint on it. It's 6 o'clock already on Friday night. And I know that you want to have something to look at here. Anyway, I'll see what I can come up with. Yeah, so there's the paint gun. And then there's uh, the mixing stuff. Now at the store, he said to use these ones here. But... Uh, I don't think you're quite right, because he said that you mix it two parts to one part. So that would be two parts of base, one part of, of uh, thinner, which is this stuff over here. So what I did was I took my other jug and I measured up 800 milliliters on here. That equated to uh, five or something on here. And then you're supposed to go five to five, but he was wanting to, me to use this scale here, like a three to three sort of thing. But that looks like way more than two parts here to one part. So over here, I did it, I checked it out, and I took 800 milliliters and put it in here. Then I took 400 milliliters, and yes, indeed, it, it, the math works on this one right here. So, anyway, that's the one I'm going to go with. It'll make it a bit thinner than what paint store guy said but I think that the paint store guy might have been confused or I don't know we'll find out if it's no good I'll be doing it again yeah there I mixed it up two to one I didn't have a stir stick from the store but I found an old this is a shingle <laughs> it'll work and then I ran it through the filter into here and now it's set to go and now you set this gun to go to 40 which I've done already I've tested it out, set it to 40. Now I have to go and adjust the spray pattern, so I'll take a piece of cardboard with me and see what I can come up with. Yeah, there you go. That's sort of what it looks like to get started. And that'll be the, the camera pose for the, for, the, for the duration. See what happens. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to put my mask on, and then uh, I've got that piece of cardboard there to, to try out the get the thing shooting right and I got my fan going down there you can maybe hear that in the background I won't talk to you anymore because you can't talk through this damn mask
That's okay. You can't see this, but I'm going to do the bumper thing. Thing. And there you go, it's uh, coat number one on, not bad for a beginner, you can see where it's not quite even, but for the most part it looks not too bad, looks okay to a man on horseback, like down here there's some runs, so the guy it's all the, that paint looks pretty nice. It runs there. So tomorrow, I'll have to come in here. I'm going to just leave it be and let it dry overnight. And then tomorrow, I'll come and do some sanding on those runs. And then see if I can make a, get a coat of paint on there without runs. But for the most part, I did not bad for a beginner. Anyway. That's it in here.